Bally's as the winning proposal for Chicago's first casino license. The $1.7 billion project is in River West. If approved, the development would replace the Chicago Tribune printing plant near Chicago and Halsted. The city council still needs to approve the mayor's pick. It would then move to the Illinois Gaming Board for final approval. And WGN's Dana Rebick is live in River West now with more. Dana? Well, this is the uh, Tribune Publishing Plant building behind me. It is owned by Nexstar Media Group. That company owns WGN TV. Now, residents who live in this area tell us that they have many concerns about a casino uh, being built here. One of them, namely traffic congestion. They tell us rush hour, especially on Chicago, Halstead and Grand, is pretty terrible as it is. And one neighborhood group is already planning to push City Council to vote this proposal down. Along the Chicago River at Halstead and Chicago, the old Tribune publishing plant is set to be transformed. Mayor Lori Lightfoot announcing it as her winning pick for a new entertainment district. The Bally's proposal includes a casino, hotel, exhibition hall, outdoor music venue, six restaurants, and a sports museum. Why would it be in a residential area? Kathleen Griffin lives at Kinsey Park on Grand Avenue near the proposed site where an estimated 11,000 people live. Area residents are skeptical, worried about the viability of the site and concerned about the impact to the neighborhood. I've seen the plans and we were asked to write letters of why we opposed it and I opposed it for all of the reasons listed. The congestion, crime, all the things, noise. But before this new entertainment district is built, a temporary casino is planned for the old Medina Temple at 600 North Wabash in River North. No, no I don't like it. I live a couple blocks from here. I it's think like it's an absolutely gorgeous building that would have, could not be a worse use for it than a casino. Medina Temple was chosen because of its proximity to public transit, existing retail and hospitality corridors, and would open in the second quarter of 2023. Uh, I don't honestly want this in anybody's backyard. Brian Israel with the River North Residents Association feels the process has been rushed and circumvented the special casino council committee. Really indicates, uh, I think, a, a dramatic lack of respect for the city council. The city council still needs to vote and uh, we will turn our attention full force to trying to persuade as many members of the council as possible that this is a bad idea for the neighborhood and a bad idea for the city. Now, the permanent casino, the entire Bally's Entertainment District, would be set to open in 2026. There is a public town hall coming up. It is on May 12th at the UIC Forum from 7 to 9 p.m. Live in River West, Dana Rebic, WGN News. Thank you.